Did you know that 553 million of the global population experiences social anxiety? Yes, you have heard it right. Social anxiety is a fear that makes regular interactions extremely difficult. And it does not end there. It disrupts your thinking, making you feel isolated, embarrassed, or afraid of being judged. But guess what? There is a silver lining. Recognizing these feelings early allows you to address them head on with some smart, basic habits. Today's video will guide you step by step through regaining your confidence and saying goodbye to those stressful times. Ready to change your life? Let's sink in. Number one, find the root of your issue. Finding the root of your social anxiety is like being a detective in your own life. Wondering why you feel like everyone's watching and judging your every move. Here's a nugget of truth. Most people are too wrapped up in their own stories to notice a minor slip up. If you trip over that almost invisible step, you might snag a chuckle from someone, but then they're off, consumed by their own worries. Realizing you're not the main character in everyone's personal drama is not about feeling unimportant. It's about freeing yourself from the burden of others' opinions. This realization is empowering, putting you back in the driver's seat of your life, focusing on the people who truly matter. Shifting your perspective to see things as they are, not as your fears paint them, can change your whole storyline. If your social anxiety feels like more than just stage fright and is stopping you from enjoying life's script, seeking out a mental health professional could be your golden ticket. Yes, hopping aboard the confidence car might sound a tad cheesy, but if it brings a grin to your face, why not? Engaging with a professional could mean exploring cognitive behavioral therapy or other methods to tackle those automatic negative thoughts and rewrite your inner script. So, if you're asking, where do I begin, or do I need a nudge in the right direction, reaching out for help is a step towards turning the page. Remember, every great story has its twists and turns, including yours. Number two, understand the consequences of your behavior. Recognizing your behaviors and the motivations behind them is a crucial step toward addressing and reducing your anxiety response. Several strategies can help you face and eventually ease these fears. Exposure therapy. Start small, maybe by meeting a friend or attending a group activity. Skills training. Enhance your interpersonal and communication abilities. Therapeutic approaches. Consider psychological, cognitive, and behavioral therapies to address underlying issues. Avoiding social interactions, like steering clear of parties due to the dread of meeting new people, can inadvertently worsen anxiety. Limited social engagement means you miss out on developing the very skills that make such interactions more manageable. Moreover, avoidance can amplify fear. Your brain, in its effort to protect its favorite person, heightens the fear of psychological discomfort, thus intensifying the perceived threat and trapping you in a cycle of avoidance and anxiety. A practical step towards breaking this cycle is to document your experiences. Note down the situation, rate your fear on a scale of 100, and describe your reaction. This not only helps in recognizing patterns, but also in understanding the roots of your anxiety, paving the way for more informed and effective coping strategies. Number three, take your time. Feeling jittery, sweaty, or like your heart's racing out while making your statement. It's your body cranking up the sympathetic nervous system. Research shows that practicing mindfulness-based stress reduction, MBSR, really helps with managing emotions and reducing the intensity of anxiety symptoms. People who tried MBSR felt better not just after doing the sessions, but also continued to feel the benefits three months later, more so than those who didn't practice it. Mindfulness is getting popular and for good reasons. Scientific studies are proving that it offers lots of health benefits, both for the mind and body. It's a simple way to help calm down the physical effects of anxiety, making it easier to handle stress and feel more at peace. Here's something simple you can try. Take a deep breath, slowly count to three, then let it out. Repeat for just a minute. This act alone can switch on your parasympathetic nervous system, your body's built-in peacekeeper, helping to steady your heartbeat. Mindfulness is accessible, straightforward, and cost-free. It's all about giving yourself a moment to breathe, to just be. So why not give it a chance? It's an investment in your well-being that requires nothing more than a bit of your time and attention. Number four. Get physical. A study focusing on people with social anxiety disorder showed that aerobic exercise not only improved their symptoms shortly after they started working out, but also had lasting benefits three months later. It turns out, staying active is a powerhouse move for both body and mind, making it a key player in tackling social anxiety too. Regular exercise does wonders beyond just getting fit. It boosts endorphins and other brain chemicals that enhance your thinking and mood, can lead to physical changes like weight loss and increased muscle tone, and brings a host of other health perks. For an added bonus, 
Exercising in a group can gently push you into more social situations, helping reduce the fear associated with social interactions over time. If the idea of group workouts isn't your thing, starting with something simple like a walk is a great way to ease into it. The key is to get moving and find what works for you. Number 5. It takes a village. Feeling tense or drained after hanging out with your close ones? It might not be about you, but how you're made to feel around them. Pay attention to your emotions post catch-ups with your partner, family, and friends. Take a moment to truly reflect on how you're treated and spoken to in these interactions. Often feelings of inadequacy or the belief that you have nothing valuable to contribute to conversations can stem from these interactions, leading to more anxiety and avoidance of social settings. These negative self-views could be the result of constant put-downs from someone influential in your life, making you doubt your own worth. If you recognize such a pattern, consider seeking support from a therapist or a trusted confidant to bolster your self-esteem and discuss setting healthy boundaries. While the idea of confronting these issues may seem daunting, especially with anxiety in the mix, having the right support can empower you to address problematic behaviors and navigate these tough conversations with confidence and grace. Number 6. Brush up on social skills. Feeling socially awkward or anxious might stem from not feeling confident in your social abilities. Basic social skills such as making eye contact, offering a smile when greeting someone, speaking in a tone that matches the situation, managing your emotions appropriately, and expressing your thoughts when necessary are all key components. If the mere thought of this list makes you nervous, take heart. These skills can be learned. You might find it helpful to discuss with a professional about therapy or strategies to build your social confidence and abilities. Observing and learning from others can also be incredibly useful. Pay attention to how people initiate and maintain conversations, the way they pose questions to keep discussions flowing, and their reactions to different scenarios. Use these observations to practice and refine your own social behaviors in a non-intrusive way. Don't hesitate to seek feedback from someone you trust. Ask them how they would react to certain questions or scenarios and how you might best respond. Remember, practice leads to improvement, and actively working on your social skills is a a proactive step towards feeling more at ease in social situations. Number 7. Fight overthinking. Thinking too much about negative stuff can make things seem worse than they are. To stop this from happening, try doing something that keeps your mind busy, like a hobby, exercising, or hanging out with friends. This way, you won't have time to overthink and make yourself feel bad. There's also a trick called fighting off automatic negative thoughts. It's about spotting these sneaky negative thoughts and proving them wrong with facts and logic, kind of like telling them, hey, you're not the boss of me. When we keep going over the same worries, it can mess with our brain's ability to think clearly, remember stuff, and be flexible in our thinking, which can make us feel even more anxious or down. To beat this cycle, you can try distractions or learn techniques from therapy and mindfulness practices to challenge these negative thoughts. It's all about learning to focus on the good stuff and not getting stuck in a loop of overthinking. Remember, small daily actions can lead to significant changes over time. It's all about taking those first steps and keeping the momentum going. Now, what strategies have you found effective in managing social anxiety? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. And if you found this guide helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tips.